Beatitude, more and more Basilius, Clemis Catholicus, Father and Head of the Malangra Catholic Church. Dear Reverend Mother Lydia, the Superior General of the Daughters of Mary Congregation, Reverend Mother Anila Christie, Monsignor Joseph Bright, Reverend Father Devadas, Mr. Paul Raj, the National President of MCA, and uh, Professor Leo Bright, Sister Patsy, Sister Prima, Sister Angel Therese, and Chief Educational Officer of the Kanyakumari District, and Mrs. Thomas, dear Reverend Fathers, Sisters, Teachers, Parents, my dear students. Today is a blessed day for us. First of all, the Father and Head of the Malangra Catholic Church is with us. Very rarely we get a chance to be with Him. And on this very moment, very auspicious occasion, He has consented to come here to be with us on this particular day. So I really thank and really uh, we feel so much of gratitude towards your beatitude for your presence uh, for coming here and encouraging us and uh, i am supposed to give the jubilee message in 1934 on june 29th monsignor joseph kurinyalil as an young priest landed in Vettuvenni, where the present bishop's house is situated. And after four years, he felt the need of sisters to continue his ministry. So in 1938, he started with the permission and blessing of a servant of God, Marivanius, he started, he founded the Daughters of Mary congregation. All over the world, in the records you may be writing, Congregation of the Daughters of Mary, but everywhere known as Marthandam Sisters. That uh, I feel proud of uh, when I hear that Marthandam Sisters, <laughs> because this congregation is specially established or founded for the mission work here, based, uh, Marthandam based missionary work. So we are very happy and we are uh, thanking God for providing us more than 5,000 sisters working all over the world, but they have the spirit and inspiration from the soil of Marthandam and from the founders, Monsignor Joseph Kurinyalil and also the co-founders, uh, Mother Mary Kallarekel. I First time I, I came here as I was 13 years old. At that time I saw only this building. Is now, the, now it's a very beautiful building at that time. It was not so organized, a small uh, building. And there was a Tamil medium school at that time. Mary, Queen Mary School. It's, it was a middle school. Later that school is shifted to the primary section is here now and the high school is uh, shifted to uh, the other campus and uh, in uh, as uh, we call it Monsignor Joseph Kurinyalil Memorial Higher Secondary School we have. Monsignor Joseph Kurinyalil took us many years to begin this school. In 1971 only he started this English medium school. Till then, the sisters were working in the villages and also they started in the Tamil medium schools. So, in 1971, he felt the need of English education. To contribute to the society, he thought of that and he started this with a small beginning with the 23 st children, kids. Says they received these kids. They came from the lottery club um, run kindergarten. Today, we have in this school 2,501 children 
hundred and thirty-four teachers. So it's a very big campus and a very, very conducive atmosphere. To many, many parents uh, tell me when I meet them, I, uh, they tell me that my, my children are studying in uh, Kristaraja. They say that they are safe there. As they enter into the campus, we, have, we are not afraid of anything. They are safe. And they are happy with the education provided here. And certainly, for the last 50 years, this institution has provided. So it has, uh, it has taken a long way, very slow and steady growth. Now we have higher secondary, a full-fledged metric higher secondary school we have. But it took many years, five, fifty years to grow. So when we celebrated this uh, jubilee, let us thank God for His wonderful graces, wonderful, uh, wonderful uh, blessings we received through this school. The school admitted, has admitted the people irrespective of caste and creed. And all, of the, all the people in and around Marthandam benefited from this school. And when I, when I go to different places, they introduce themselves as I'm, when they come to know that I am from Marthandam, immediately they said, I am the product of Krishna Raja. I am from, I studied in Marthandam, Krishna Raja school. So they proudly say, so that gives us joy. So it's a time to remember the graces which, are received, which we received from God and also the people who worked hard. The Daughters of Mary congregation, which gave always inspiration to work in this institution, especially the principals who guided. As I remember, Sister Patsy was the most powerful principal here. And uh, she was uh, long years, she was, when I uh, think of the past, immediately that comes to my mind. And uh, Sister Lisa and also Sister Prima, uh, sorry, I have no experience because I am too young for that, okay. <laughs> and uh, uh, so many sisters, always there will be four or five sisters working and uh, full-time workers. Early morning they start and uh, till evening they work and always each and every matter they attend and uh, all the, to, throughout this district, whatever programs comes, they send the students and uh, so worked hard. So now this school is in the, uh, actually when we think, take the um, schools of English medium schools of Kanyakumari district. So we can be proud of this school for being lot of in different achievements in sports or in education and everything and moral formation and also uh, the different, the new the creativity, everything we can be proud of. So let us thank God and also all the people who supported uh, the departments, uh, people and also those who are uh, the parents who uh, wholeheartedly gave their support to the growth of the school and they contributed now and then for, through the pa Parent Teachers Association. So it's not uh, uh, a single man's work, it's a collective work, many people supported this. So now, it is a time to, another word we have to remember is hope. Now, we live in a very different kind of the world, society, different situation. We need to think, to look at the society, the context and analyze it. So, there are so many negative factors in this society. To destroy a country, destroy a district, very simple. First, they look at the children or the young people. Maybe through the method of intoxication or through the method of uh, instigating negative ideas or uh, uh, misguiding the children. This is the, the aim is the destruction of the uh, nation. So they start not from above, from the children. So the school education is very, very important for the future future. Usually, the people who work in the politics, they look for the next election, but they don't think of the next generation. So, parents, we have to think of next generation. So, their future, 
your children that must be our concern their future that must be our concern so what is the situation now we have so dr klaus schwab the world famous economist and engineer the founder of the world economic forum wrote a book resetting everything that means after the corona how to reset everything he is telling about three intelligences the first one is contextual intelligence we have to analyze and think of the present present day situation and analyze and secondly emotional intelligence how to relate with this context certainly after corona we are living in a different called a technology driven lifestyle and the technology is the one who matters which dominates and also the media is very dominant and in this situation how to uh, encourage or how to relate with the society how to uh, maintain the interpersonal relationship these are all the questions so this other finally tell to live in the society today's man or today's children they need inspirational intelligence inspirational intelligence so today's education cannot be fulfilled with the one man show a principal alone cannot do everything so here parents teachers and the management so a collective work is necessary otherwise very 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 difficult very very difficult so let us look for a bright future of this school and the sister uh, prima kurian is uh, since 2015 she is uh, heading this institution but always she is passionate about the children their formation and the empowerment of the faculty and the future of the children their character always passionate uh, she is a little bit tensed also today am i right sister okay little bit tensed also but because uh, you can imagine 2601 Par- dear parents how much trouble you take ma- to manage two children at home then think of managing 2601 children so very very difficult task so we have to work together and looking at this we have to form real citizens who is a t- citizen the greek ideology uses three words idiots tribals and citizens so idiots and tribals the meaning they give the meaning which we, which we are not which, which we don't mean sorry which which we mean they call whom they, whom do they call idiots so for a simple example a father and mother okay they live in a family only one boy the mother became sick on day early morning the father took her to the hospital and he, he came back and this boy woke up and came to the friend and asking where is mother the father told that and uh, she is admitted in the hospital and this boy is asking then who will bring me bed coffee he is called idiot this is the answer this is the meaning the greek people give and secondly the tribals that means uh, it's uh, we, they don't mean the people who live in jungles or forest area they mean whom the people who unnecessarily gather together and they don't look at the reality and for the sake of uh, anything for example when something happens in a city uh, a auto driver is uh, uh, making co- they quarrel with another man and immediately all the auto drivers will come and fight they don't see the reality who made the mistake who is responsible for that they do that. this kind of people are called tribals it is the meaning given by greek understanding so we have some other meaning but citizens who is a real citizen for them the real citizen is a responsible person so he must be responsible for the nation he must be responsible for the is for his family 
for the relatives and for the situation for his school everywhere this is the idea of holy father pope francis is giving now he is asking us to, to travel together so how is it possible so he is referring back to the holy spirit everything but it is making everybody responsible even in the church journeying together means making everybody responsible so in the to find, have a fine society a bright future we need to be, make the students make the people responsible for the society and responsible for the nation and for the family this is their context so you see the context of the children are family school and the society how are they going to manage so they sh- whatever they see and experience in their family is the teaching whatever they see and experience to the school campus is teaching them and whatever they see in the society in the social context they, that is teaching them so they are learning so we have a very conducive atmosphere here always the students who received education from this institution are fr- proud of the st- proud of uh, this institution so we thank god for his wonderful works i once again i congratulate all the faculty members teachers who are really working hard and the sisters wholeheartedly working and the management especially mother general and mother provincial and hearty congratulations and jubilee greetings and once again i thank your gratitude for your presence thank you so much uh, really we are uh, we feel so honored and happy so for coming here over here thank you god bless you happy jubilee to everybody <laughs>